When you listen to someone soloing, do you know if it's truly improvised? I opened this video playing a solo that I wrote using lines that I already learned and apply it in different keys. So the answer is no, you can't know because you're not inside someone's brain to understand what they are thinking, what they are planning. But usually 70% of the great soloists that we listen to, they already studied, practiced all that vocabulary before applying in a real situation. <music> Welcome, my name is Leo Testoni, I am a guitar player from Brazil. I am about to finish my master's degree in guitar performance here in the US. My professor here is Corey Christiansen, and today we're gonna talk about one of the most cool things that he taught me. How to learn lines and how to apply those lines into your playing. Before I talk about how to apply those lines, it's important to learn where to find those lines. And of course, the first source, albums, videos, workshops, live concerts, wherever place you can listen to music and you like a line, grab a piece of paper and take note. You can also use a device to record it and then after take note. Put the line on a paper, gonna help you a lot with memorizing it because you're using the visual thing and also listening to that line, but also gonna help you to analyze that line, understand the relationship between pitches and chords and harmony and also it's a great thing to have your notebook with a bunch of lines so if you are playing if you're recording if you're teaching and you're looking for a cool line you have your encyclopedia of lines elements of the jazz language is a great book to understand the jazz language but also to learn some lines Corey introduced me this book to analyze some solos to help me understand the jazz language but it's a great source of lines. So if you are missing a line with enclosures, for example, you can find a bunch of cool ideas inside this book. Mel Bay Publisher has a bunch of essential jazz line books playing the style of Grant Green, Joe Coltrane, Wes Montgomery. It's a great source. If you really like one specific player, you can get one book and then you can learn a bunch of lines from that style. And one of my favorite books is Bebop Bible, a bunch of lines to apply on your vocabulary. Now that you learn where to find cool lines, it's important to discuss how to study and how to apply those lines. Since we are playing the guitar, it's important to learn the line and then apply in different positions, not just in one specific position and not just in one group of strings. So try to find exactly the same line in different positions and different groups of strings and of course in all 12 keys. When I started doing that, I realized that we really have some common keys, some common two fives. For example, if you learn a minor two five in the key of D minor, you're gonna find a bunch of different jazz standards to apply that line in that exactly key. So it's a very good idea to start creating your lines over a very common jazz standard. I will suggest some, like Night and Day, Stella by Starlight, All the Things You Are, All on Leaves. So find a standard that you really love to start creating your lines over that specific standard. So now is the time. Let me share with you some of my favorite lines. Thank you. 
I hope you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and if you wanna get the PDF of this lesson with a whole solo applying my lines and a bunch of other lines, type your email down here in the comments and I'll be glad to send you for free this PDF, alright? Let's play, keep playing!